Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Abzan Control. Abzan Control and Abzan Aggro share a lot of the same cards. So if you're going to make any deck, I suggest in standard right now, I suggest Abzan. Um, a lot of times people are going to say, oh, wait until rotation. Are you really not going to play Magic for like a month or play some janky deck? No, you want to win, right? Uh, I mean, that's what playing Magic is about. It's not about the financial outcome. It's really about having a good time and a lot of times, if you win, you have a better time than if you are playing a janky red deck wins, which I've been playing. So uh, this absent control is a little different, but the cards that are different from absent aggro are also just very, very, they are standard staples and they will continue to be in my opinion. Uh, you got the whole deck costs $357 on paper and $204 online. Uh, and I'm gonna go over the paper prices. Uh, you got free, Den Protectors, 4 Corsair Crew Fix, yeah that card's rotating out, it's still very good. 3 Nisa Vastwood Seer, uh, 4 Siege Rhinos, 1 Dragon Lord Dromoka, 1 Tassigur the Golden Fang, and uh, those are all very good cards. This Absent Control is a little bit more expensive and this is why. You have 4 Doss Seas' main deck, 1 Ultimate Price, a 4 Absent Charms, uh, 3 Heroes Downfall, Two Languish. Languish is very good Rhino. It is just a bomb. One Silence the Believers and free Elspeth Sun's Champion. So uh, a lot of times if you make the correct, if you mix the two decks, you can play Absent Control or Aggro out of the sideboard. And you can go big or you can go small. Uh, your land base is very similar. Two Caves of Colossus, Free Forest, two Land of War Waste. Uh, two planes, four stand, sand steep citadels. Again, this whole list will be down below. Uh, four temples of malady, four temples of silence, one org bog, tomb of Yagamoth, four windswept heaths. Again, your mana base is pretty much the same as Abzan. And that's why I love these two decks is they are interchangeable sometimes in the same deck. Uh, your sideboard makes you go Abzan uh, aggro. You got the hang of back walkers, you got three of them, one Duress, two Bile Blight, two Dromokas Command, one Ultimate Prize, one Unravel the Aether, one Read the Bones, one Sorin Solemn Visitor, one Other End, one End Hostilities, and one Ugin the Spirit Dragon. So again, your sideboard, if you look at it, if you compare Abzan aggro with Abzan control, pretty much the main deck is only different and they are interchangeable sideboards. So you can go from Abzan control to Absent Aggro and back again if you wanted to. Uh, the reason Absent, in my opinion, Absent Aggro is better against the field, but here are the matchups. Uh, against RG Devotion, your favorite. Mono Red and you are in Soul Artifact, you are slightly favored. Esper Dragons, uh, UW Control, Absent Aggro, Just K Temple, you are slightly favored. I mean, you are slightly unfavored, so it's better against Esper Dragons or other types of Dragon decks but you're still very, very bad against Black Red Dragons. Um, so you only win about 39% of the games because uh, Black Red Dragons is mid-rangey and it's just coming back. I mean, again, you can't deal with those flyers, right? So a lot of the cards, I mean, you can make both of these decks relatively cheap in my opinion. Um, it's like having two decks and one and then being able to like change your experience. So I've been playing Mono Red for a long time and for as part of the MTG Lion type of deal, and it's not like great. Like I'm not having a good time anymore. So I like the fact that you can play control, and then you can play aggro, and you're not spending all that much more money. Um, so I don't know. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. Uh, let's do some. It looks like we're gonna do. We did standard, standard. Let's do modern. Let's do a modern deck. Tech. Bye, guys.